Hello and welcome to the Indian Beat. The boys track team competed in the county tournament last night where they finished second. A few minor mistakes kept the Indians from winning, but the team had a lot of standout performances in county champions. Landon Dickman, Jonte Hill, Connor Wasser, and Mikey Miller all set new personal records in their events. Alex Bench finished first in the 200 meter dash. The 4x4 relay team consisting of Blaine Daniels, Alex Bench, Eli Moore, and Connor Wasser finished first. Landon Dickman finished first in the 110 meter hurdles and Connor Wasser finished first in the 300 meter hurdles. Congratulations to the team. The Indians will be back in action Thursday night at night sound for the conference meet. Do you have the results from the tennis match? The tennis team traveled to Hagerstown last night where they ended the night with a 3-2 victory. Carly Wismiller, Hannah Fisher, and Emily Evans all won their matches. The team now holds a record of 8-3 for the season. The team will travel to Centerville tonight for a match starting at 5 p.m. Senior tennis player Hannah Fisher tells us about her undefeated season during this report. How would you describe the team season this year? Um, we're actually doing pretty well this year. Um, I'm not quite sure what our record is. I want to say it's like seven and three. Don't quote me on it. But we're not doing bad. We're doing better than we did last year. Um, I think that if we just keep our heads up and just keep going, I think that we can um, have a good rest of the season. Our goal was to have 10 wins, so hopefully we can do that. What has been different this year that has allowed you to go undefeated? Um, honestly, I feel like it's just like my positive mindset and then like not getting down on myself as much and just kind of playing for fun and whatever happens kind of happens. <clears throat> what match has been the most challenging for you this season? Um, I would say like two. Um, I would say Lincoln and then Randolph Southern at County. Um, both of them, I'd say Randolph Southern probably took, like, was the hardest for me, but then Lincoln was also pretty difficult as well. Is there any upcoming match that you believe will be challenging for you? Um, actually, tonight I play against Centerville, and I feel like that's going to be my toughest match this season. In what ways has a team helped you succeed this season? Um, just by, like, cheering me on and stuff and being supportive, supportive of me. Um, Honestly, we're just like one big family, like we all love each other and I'm, I just feel like throughout this season they've just been like really supportive. We've all been supportive of each other and I just feel like it's just like that connection that we all have with each other that like makes it special. Thank you. The baseball team was on the road last night and defeated Lincoln 12-1. to Kendon LaFuse gave up only one run and had 13 strikeouts. Zach Falk went 4 for 4 with a triple, single, and two doubles. The team is now 12 and 2 on the season and will travel to Union County tonight to take on the Patriots. Mr. Malloy talks with Brianna Williams to provide us with information about the upcoming mock car crash that will take place on Friday. Well, the mock car crash is an is a opportunity for us to put on a, a show, so to speak, um, about what an accident looks like. and. Uh, for us and, and for our kids. And what I love about it is it involves multiple uh, parts of our community. So the fire department, police department, our school, the uh, care flight people will be here as well. The coroner will be here. Um, and we also have a, a mother coming in from Mothers Against Drunk Driving who lost a child that, uh, to drunk driving that'll be talking as well. So it's just a unique opportunity for us to highlight what a crash looks like for our children and our kids and our students so that they can kind of grasp what what it looks like to make a bad decision and and how that affects everybody's lives and so it's a unique opportunity that we're excited about who organized this event uh, myself and officer bradbury our sro uh, organized it but we had a lot of help from uh, the community members steve shoemaker our uh, has been a big uh, part of it. He's the fire chief and the city manager, and so they've done a great deal of the work as well. And then the care flight people as well have done a, a wonderful job. Can you explain the process of setting up an event like this? Yes, it takes a lot of par moving parts. Uh, so obviously even this year, because we had it planned for prom week, um, we had to pivot off that because of weather. And so it takes a lot of coordination. So a lot of uh, emails, phone calls back and forth. And then we've had two meetings with uh, Care Flight with the students that are going to be involved in the, the mock car crash to go over what their roles are. So uh, it takes a lot of logistical work ahead of time. 
um, and hopefully we've done it the right way and put together things the right way and so it'll be great for our kids on Friday. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I'm excited. We're actually going to um, put a, a student in the care flight and fly them out. So that'll be a, a dramatic moment, I hope, for everybody. Uh, and that'll be Quincy Middle. I know he's excited about doing that. So um, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for us to emphasize going into graduation season um, what bad decisions look like and how they affect others. So, so I hope everybody enjoys it, and I hope that it's a meaningful uh, opportunity for them to, to learn something. Hey, Gabby, what do you call a pony with a cough? What? A little horse.